hello my dear students welcome to my youtube channel here i am going to upload first year puc accountancy part 1 here i covered uh, i specially covered meaning and definition of accounting and certain terms of accounting the first of all the simple meaning of accounting accounting is the art of recording classifying summarizing and communicating financial informations to users for correct decision making so finance accounting is only consider the financial information it's only consider the financial transaction so it is art of express the financial information it is recording classifying summarizing and communicating the financial informations to users to take a correct financial decisions so this is a simple meaning of accounting then this one is a definition of accounting according to american accounting association it is a in short it is called as a triple a a a american accounting association they defined like that accounting as the process of identifying measuring recording and communicating economic information to pertain informed judgment and decisions by users of information it is one of the famous accounting definition which one is given by a triple a american accounting association so accounting as the process of identifying it is the first process identification after identification the second process is a uh, measuring after measuring the financial information or financial transactions it is recording is a third process and communicating is a fourth process it is communicating to pertaining informations to the users which very much helpful to take a decisions right decision so this is a definition of accounting then basic terms in accounting there are totally 20 basic terms in accounting they are entity transactions asset liabilities capital asset sales revenues expenses expenditure profit gain loss discount voucher goodwills drawings purchases stock debtor and creditors so there are totally 20 basic terms in accounting out of that first one is a entity entity or it is also be called as a business entity or it is also be called accounting entity actually what is entity business entity means a specifically identifiable business enterprise like super bazaar itc limited etc so entity is nothing but it is a specific uh, or identifiable place the identifiable place is called as a entity for example this picture show the shown the this picture shown the example of entity so that place is simply is called as a entity in the world of accounting then the second term is a transactions transaction in kannada it is called as a vahivatu vahivatu so the meaning of transaction an event involving some value between two or more entities that event is called as a transaction here transaction under there are two types of transaction cash transaction and credit transaction what is cash transaction name itself suggested cash transaction a cash transaction is the immediate payment of cash for the purchase of an assets so this is a meaning of cash transaction this picture shown the cash transaction immediate cash transaction if a uh, between that buyer and seller the cash is settled immediately that kind of transaction is called as a cash transaction 
The second type of transaction is a credit transaction. It is opposite together. Under credit transaction, immediate payment of cash is not possible. A credit transaction is the business transaction which although has monetary impact but or does not involve exchange of cash at the time of occurring of the transaction. Immediate is not possible. But it is settled in the cash at the subsequent date. That kind of transaction is called as a credit transaction. It is opposite to cash transaction. These pictures are shown to cash and credit transactions together. Then third term of accounting is the assets. Asset is nothing but property. Asset means what? Or simple meaning of asset. Asset are economic resources of an enterprise that can be usefully expressed in monetary terms. Asset means it is one of the resource which can be expressed in monetary terms or which can be expressed in money. Which resources is not possible to express it in money? No, that one resource is not called as asset. Asset are economic resources of an enterprise that can be usefully expressed in monetary terms. Here, the asset is also be classified into two types. Non-current assets and current assets. Even though non-current assets alone, they are classified tangible assets, intangible assets. Tangible and intangible assets meanings we are going to uh, explain in our next class onwards. Here I am going to cover what is non-current assets and what is current assets. First of all, what is non-current assets? Non-current assets uh, are a company long-term investments that are not easily converted into cash are not expected to become a cash within an accounting period. We know the accounting period. Accounting period means it is a 12 months commencement. It is commenced on 1-4 in every year and ending on 31-3. So between this 12 months, if any asset is not possible to convert it into cash, that asset is called as a non-current asset. So this is some few examples of non-current assets. Fixed assets, non-current investment, deferred tax assets, long-term loans and advances. So these all are examples. Land is a non-current assets which cannot possible to convert it into cash within a year. Buildings is a non-current asset which cannot possible to convert it into cash within a year. Factories, furniture, equipments. So these all are non-current assets in a major examples. Then second type of asset is a current assets. Current assets are all the assets of the company that are expected to be sold or used as a result of standard business operations over the next year. It is a simply opposite of non-current assets. Current assets are all the assets of company that are expected to be sold or used as a result of standard business operations over the next year. That means in, in short, it is also be called which assets are easy to convert it into cash or which assets are easy to convert it into cash within a year. That asset simply is called as a current asset. So these all are major examples of current assets. Current investment, inventories, trade receivables, cash and cash equivalent, bank balance, short term loans and advances. So these all are examples. Even though along with that example, cash in hand, Kyle cash idre, that one is also be current assets. Cash in bank, debtor, stock, bill receivable, short term investments, short term loans and advances, prepaid expenses, income earned but not received. So these all are company current assets. 
remember it company current assets so today this much is enough one next video the remaining terms and explain martin thank you for watching